Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Legendary Blind playthrough. I'm trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with no previous knowledge. Time to attack another Pandorian Citadel. Extreme challenge level or an extreme threat level, which will be hard. And we're fighting against one of uh, these major Skrillers again. And uh, let's take enough... Uh, armor penetration with us little green being uh, the main help there we do have enough berserkers so they can help with that as well got another neural pistol by the way so maybe that will help us also just to the piece uh, some of uh, the aliens we can even extract the aliens I've found that out out of uh, those hive missions even though we're fleeing we can still uh, kind of extract them um, here with Tyler I'm thinking whether or not we should instead uh, give him a pistol this neural pistol one less uh, healing but eight shots might be a bit low Let's give him more strength and more ammunition. So that should help us. We don't. We do have ready for action, so we could pull out uh, the med pack. Got our second pistol here. Much more uh, ammunition in this case, Natalia. We got Haxer. Yet another sniper. We do have three really good uh, snipers, so maybe I. And maybe we will be okay with uh, the damage and uh, we got some more armor penetration here so that'll be good Ain who is going to speed us up and also provides some more armor penetration plus some healing and Kitsu who has been working quite well uh, so far I think uh, the only topic that we're lacking is uh, one of the turrets which if we uh, if we had one that would really be helpful we even got the assault rifle so she is she is skilled with that get another healing kit in and yeah I think the team is uh, substantially better than it had been the last time uh, so this should go well all right, we are starting. Uh, this time apparently between two spawn zones, that's great. There's an exit over here, one over here, and the Skrilla is all the way back here. Interesting map design. Uh, but this here is, is a problem in itself. We're charging forward and we're essentially starting in the pinch point. Jim the Hammer Eulet. Start spotting out enemies. Okay, well, the the enemies are still quite far away. I'm ready. What is this guy? Here's uh, like melee only. Moving fast. Target detected. More of them, okay. Right there. Ready to engage. Missed. Well, wonderful. We I'll keep my eyes started open. destroying the shield. Um, 
Yeah, the the core idea here should be moving to coordinates to get closer without triggering too much at the beginning. On the move. Solid cover. Overwatching. All right, Natalia. Did we? No, we hit uh, the pincer. Unfortunately, that does not uh, imply paralysis. Um, Sanders, tell you what, um, we could use another melee over here. Andrew Sanders. Two. Taking our armor removal. Very good. Fantastic. Little green. Solid as always. Unit moves over here, and I would really like the sniper to take that better position. Overwatching with a pistol. And finally, our uh, side priest. Hits on the shields. More reduction of his armor. Okay, this guy definitely needs to die. I'm pretty sure the Skrilla will come in soon. Oh, he's standing in the open, just rushing in. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, if that's your call, buddy. Oh, not cool. The Harbringer is a problem. Has now been alerted. Ready to fire. Two. Ah, not getting the right traction here. We'll deal with Jim in a second. Starting over here. Good, that's one down. Does that induce uh, paralysis? No, it does not. Okay, we need our more penetration five, five, five. first. 
Pass and that guy needs it. to very much die. Here. Um, about. And moves over here. Yeah, not a lot of damage, but okay. We s really still need to get that uh, guy down. And I want to capture the other one. Jim can shout, that would take both of uh, them out. We just need to make sure. Steal on target. That he dies in the meantime. Target hit. Ready to engage. That should be a kill, right? Uh, he's. 21 hit points. Well, close, but not quite. Uh, we are... Continuing this here. Tries to hit the butt cheeks. Got you good! Looking <coughs> for an angle. Good, that solved the problem. Okay, well, luckily I had a backup plan. You got your clear shot. Target missed. <laughs> Overwatches. So she is a problem. One thing that I will do is armor break. Good. Remove the gun. Which means this guy here should be way, way less threatening. Preparing the Viper for later. We are reloading. Wow, it only reloads one. That is not a lot. sure that we uh, capture one or two of them. Not the Skrilla, that would be asking for too much, but like two of these guys with a paralysis capture would be great. Can't really do much with uh, that low amount of uh, actions. Feels that uh, that they are saying "fuck you" from behind. Yeah, 
that is a really poor situation. I think we need to abandon that side here for now. Confirming one more hit. And then we're just moving to here and giving everybody a seat. I need to break the mind control. That's number one priority. So we got armor break here. Move up. Get that one. Who does the shout this turn? Okay, so we can reach all of them, which is good. That's very good. Now one thing after the other. Kitsu moves over. I hope this helps. Heals that Maybe. massive hit that has happened Not last off. turn. Trying to reposition. 130 damage, 160 damage. Good. That solves our problem, or we'll part thereof. The green takes the rest of away and we're almost through. This should dance. Okay, so he's disabled. Moving slightly away. Moving out. Healer moves over here. Here. Now we're shouting. <laughs> Crying rather. And yeah, let's get her down. Got five will points in return. Fantastic. This guy is not panicked but stunned. We need to reapply our paralysis here soon. But I don't see a lot of other things that we can do at the moment. We gotta deal with the other flank. Yet another shout. Fine. Yet another kill. Fine. And... We do not have enough to jump over and remove... Uh, mm. Remove actions from him. We can remove armor from the abdominum, so, uh, though. So that's helpful. Sprinting. Natalia is in a really poor spot. Hence, I need to heal her. Tyler, in the meantime, begins to move into a better spot. Talia takes this hey, one here. Sort of. Just need the right angle. Now that's the stunned one. 
She's stunned. He's stunned. Okay, well. Just trying to deal some damage. Berserkers will de deal with the other side. I will likely need both of you over there. And Ain recovers because I can't yet go in here. Keep it together, operative. Get more damage for, from Tyler, and we're done. <laughs> Disable the head, that is a problem. Mainly because we can't shout anymore. Move up. Try. Good, he can't move and shoot at the same time, so it's good. Ooh, ooh. We can mind control the big boy. All right, Skriller attacks. Let's do a Skriller in Manila. moves f further away disabling his stupid head standing by doing move up and heal <clears throat> okay so far so good Moves into partial cover. And we're continuing to hit that big guy. Operative. Reloading. Trying to aim. Triton marksman. There we go. What damage?
Not a kill. Hope I don't miss. One and two. Moving out again. Okay, cool. We have a problem over here as our paralysis is soon going to run off. Trying to reposition. And our last sniper. Hostile wounded. Disables but them nicely. Together, operative. I'm here. What's the plan? They are now bleeding. And yeah, it's in the turn. <laughs> This guy is the pinnacle of being annoying. One, two, three, four. up a shot See in the next life okay cool moving out Kitsu is You'll almost running out of healing material up further Tyler continues to move up holding hits overwatches Continuing our message, uh, massive barrage against that thing. Yeah, let's not yet uh, shoot. Might be able to even stun the guy. Yeah. Need to get it down far enough. Moves a bit further over. One, two, three. Now, yeah, we dazed them. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Well, we still have the problem over here. He's potentially going to bleed out. Yeah, 
not seeing how we can save her. Bad news. The game seems to do it again. It just comes up with these random new spawns that have not been there before. And I think we need to deal with her as well. Can't really stomp her. Where's the shout? Don't have one. Hmm. We have a severe lack of haste. Could jump jet next turn. Problem that I'm seeing here is we're out in the open. Pretty much alone. Five. Down to 120. Tell you how we could regain some willpower. That automatically regains willpower quite a lot. All set. Like the wind. Jim moves over, reloads, overwatches. Tell ya. Starts to soften up that head. Because I can already see a mind control incoming. I'm going. Tyler moves up. Little green partially moves five up. Five. Kitsu. Moves up over here as well. We're still having a problem being flanked down here. But in a perfect world, everybody would get hasted and we can just get out of here. Uh, failed to connect there. Based on everything, instilling that frenzy. She's now dazed. Okay, dazed breaks mind control, that's good to know. <clears throat> Identifying targets. Oh. 
Let's see, she is at two hit points and will bleed out. Okay, cool. Do well, I that already cover? tells me everything I need to know. Because now, the job is... Let's make overboard. sure that we're getting out of here. The good old GTFO mission. Will points. Let's be that guy who is covering the retreat. Moving to coordinates. And we're up. Jim does not have a frenzy going, but we can still run. I'm going. On the move. Taking aim. Rushing forward. Uh, yeah, let's just really run out of here. Attempting to acquire. Not the longer we stay, the more problematic it will become. We have had all of these pro uh, issues in the past. Something is spawning last minute, and you need to deal with it. There we go, that's exactly the problem. Good war cry to slow this guy down. So moves up. And yeah, we're evacuating. Turn five. What's the plan? Good, moving out. Here we go. I'm just trying 
to make sure everybody got the memo to not fuck with us. Luckily, we slowed them down, and even better, we're done. Ooh. As always, close call. All right, so the debriefing, I, I skipped that one, but essentially we got a um, few diplomatic positive relationships. Both of these here are now supportive and it ca are capped at that. 49% um, structure. We also uh, have a Vidar grenade launcher. That sounds awesome. It sounds even more awesome than the laser technology. And I thought that we would have captured one Pandorium with a virus infection, but I might have been wrong. Anyways, the team here, we have a couple of upgrades, right? So Ender Senders uh, finally has the upgrade uh, for Ignore Pain. Super good, we're going to take that. Could use uh, Bloodlust, not 100%. Well, the damage bonus might be worth it. This, If he has taken uh, damage, then he would also be faster. Hmm. On the other hand, we could gain uh, assault rifles, uh, making him a bit more versatile. We wanted to make him a heavy as the second class, so we'll, we'll leave it as is. I still need the points there. Uh, inspire killing an enemy grants an additional will point is by far the best option here the heavies just have that absolutely useful ability love it and everybody else just we need more tech in order to upgrade uh, uh, to even refill we have captured these guys here so let's harvest the mutagens which in return will allow us to slowly but surely uh, get that team number three going. I wonder here if we actually take these stealth legs, electric kick. Uh, that won't help with stealth. The body armor, however, does. Stealth 20. I'm not really seeing a benefit here. Well, Stealth 30. I, I suppose there is a benefit. The other alternative is just to ignore Stealth altogether. Kind of go with... Um, the typical combination. I'll wait a bit until I have uh, clearer, clearer understanding of what we need. Vanessa needs the torso part, but does need the other two. So I think giving her the legs is actually would actually be very helpful. I wonder if we also make her a a priest in which case she would get the judgment hat kind of dual classing that i'm still in love with the idea of having that 
for now I think it's a no regret move to go for the legs. Looks a bit like elephant legs to me. <laughs> uh, and yeah, for the snipers, I mean... Almost uh, feels like... Uh, why can't I... Oh yeah, I could mutate them here. It almost feels like uh, the best course of action, again, is that regenerative torso and uh, the Stomper legs. Just a really good combination. This here compensates for for the lack uh, of accuracy on, on the torso, and the torso itself makes it so that we can continue sniping. Um, worst thing that could happen is we're losing our head, but generally the torso is quite uh, sturdy. Anyways, that team, I think it's fair to say, needs a pause. Uh, we have still plenty of uh, missions over there. Medical one, we want to defend 18 hours. We're not getting a pause. Unfortunately, everything else is too far away. Mandico 3 is on the way to get a pause, and Mandico 4 is currently having a pause. And Helios might be the only ones that we can use in order to trade a little bit. Um, let's have the Helios go up here. Okay, Mandico 3 needs to regain. Mandico 4 is almost ready to go. Getting new abilities. Uh, I like that. I very much like that. Automatic reveal of everything. And let's get a little bit more willpower because the priests require willpower. It's their main stat. Good. Just waiting for them to be filled up and then we're going for the next mission. Damn it, I would even trade for tech. 15 hours. Good, Manticore 4. So almost ready, just a few more hit points. Uh, still can't get that. Unbelievable. 12 hours. Mandico 4. In my book, they are okay. So let's move there. Storyline mission time. Mandico 3. Yeah, still heals up. I want the stamina to be okay again. We got a new weapon. Blast 50, shreds 10, that is good. Long effective range. Action points only one. Ooh, that is good. How much ammunition? Hmm, maybe not that much ammo. It seems to be a single shot weapon. Good, let's trade. Is there a tag in here? Yes, please. Fantastic.
Nine hours. Uh, yeah, I believe we should fly directly over there. And Prisoner of Ice is our next mission with team number four. Um, just general thoughts. We will need to do that mission. And then once we recover, we're having another um, exploration site, scavenging site here, which we could do with the team. And then there is yet another exploration site. Team number two is flying back and will receive healing once they are done with that. Uh, we could use them to dive deeper here, exploration site, quite a few uh, maybe harder missions so let's see how that plays out they they could do both of these missions together um, and it wouldn't hurt them I think there are still a few yeah level 4 characters just seeing the XP here uh, getting them to level 5 uh, would definitely be helpful so with regards to team 1 they do this here and then I think both vessels just fly up here and are recovering because team one currently looks really, really beaten up. You can see the stamina here, not good. So we want to be able to, uh, to do that. Uh, flying up here, recovering. And then we do have two structures currently in place one here and here. That is a team three job. Uh, the team one could actually operate from here and take on both of the Antedunuvian runes. Just free them up for us before taking this rune here. The only problem with that strategy is we leave ourselves pretty exposed to anything that happens over here. Maybe after defending we're flying down just in case that nothing happens here. Can always fly back and do the Antinuvian ruins here. Yeah, I think that's a better plan. Need to anticipate that things are going wrong. Anyways, uh, you know what's not going wrong? Uh, the uh, like button click that you will uh, try to do today. I know it's evasive, it's hard to pinpoint and sometimes you're missing, but if you try hard enough, mouse over, click and it will work. I'll promise you. See you in two days, guys. Bye-bye.